Don't forget, this Wednesday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the show of shows is going to be on. And it's going to mark the end of Matt Connington and all his butt buddy douche wipe ass wipes. Which, by the way, I don't have to fucking prove myself to or actually do anything to. Nobody listens to Billy Painter. Nobody cares about Billy Painter. He just puts people to sleep. And arrogant faggot media, that punk ass little bitch that needs to be fucking bitch slapped a few times. And, you know, the list goes on of all the degenerate scumbags. Oh, by the way, before I get crazy, uh, if you like this uh, video and my other videos, and I'm just talking to straight people out there, not the Matt Connaughton ass white douchebags or the Billy Painter douchebags out there, whoever support these fucking little fucking maggots. If there's uh, regular people out there, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Make some comments. Because you know what? The more you hate me, the better I feel about myself. That's on my new business card. The more you hate me, the better I feel about myself. Not because I'm a, 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 a masochist or whatever that I want people to hate me. But you see, I always attract the scum of the earth. Especially in today's world. I can't believe that I'm actually fighting the woke movement. The woke movement and the politically correct movement. But Billy is not neither one of those. Because he's too retarded to be either one of those. He's a fucking, he's a fucking loser. But, um, but he is in that communistic Marxist way. Even though he's a retard. And he can't read or write. And he's going to be evicted by his landlord in his basement apartment. Um, he tried to plat deplatform me, and it fired back on his ass. And um, you know, for all I said about Matt, I don't think Matt ever tried to deplatform me. And he said that he was against it. I don't know if I could trust him. First of all, I'm never going to be friends with Matt Connington for what he did to me, how he stirred the pot, how he got all these fucking scumbags on my fucking ass. But you know what? I'm happy about it. I got more publicity than I can fucking handle. And because of that publicity, I received over 2,000 hits on my Facecraft page. My YouTube page is blowing out of the fucking water. And now that I'm coming back on Wednesday doing my first official show in over a year and a half, I, have, I am more thrilled than I've ever been in my entire life. Okay? I fixed all the bugs, all the technical bugs... In, of, of my studio. I'm proud of it. It's going to improve even more. I can't fucking wait. I think I have a uh, gift card here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, I got some money. I got a gift card from my uh, cable company. And, uh, you know, everything's working out. But I want to thank again, and I can't. I can't thank enough my anonymous donor who has not only gave me one lump sum, which I was shocked by the amount of money, but is going to subscribe on a uh, monthly basis. And if that doesn't give you goosebumps, if that doesn't give you motivation to say, fuck all you motherfuckers, because you've tried to make my life miserable for the past year, but I got your back. Especially Billy Faggot Painter. I got him back. And he knows now not to fuck with me. Or he better not. Or even think about it. Because I'll make his fucking life miserable. Believe me. Okay? Um, and I'll make anybody's life miserable if I find out who the motherfucker is who fucks with me. Believe me, I can find out. I got people out there who love me and will do whatever they have to do to help me out. That's all I'm going to say on that. But... That anonymous donor gave me the strength that I really, not that I didn't have the strength, not that I wasn't determined, because that donor knew I was having a hard time with you fucking scumbag, weasel, little fucking subhumanoid piece of fucking dog shit out there. And they felt bad for me. And they knew I was being bullied. They knew I was all this shit that was going down. And out of the kindness of their heart, okay, they knew that I was a victim. But not just a victim of the abuse. 
and the deplatforming, but also the fact that I had something in those shows that I did, and it weren't shows, they were test demos, okay, test demos. They heard the music being fantastic. They heard the speech being fantastic. They knew that I was real. See, you motherfuckers, you ain't real. You're a fucking a figment of your own imagination. Okay? And you're a figment of my imagination. I mean, you exist, but you really don't exist. You don't exist in a real world because you're not real. You're all a bunch of fake, phony, but the most incredible thing about you people is how boring you are. You don't know how to do a fucking show. You suck. You're, you, 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 you have no personality. Matt has a little bit. But he's a fucking retard because he is king of the retards. He's got all these fucking, like, Gonzo the retard, Texas Mike the retard, Easy Disease the retard, the guy that looks like the Gordon's Fisherman, he's another fucking retard. A guy painting his shoes, his sneakers, I mean, that my friend caught in one of their shows. These guys are just no... Com- I was talking to Charles Richardson and I, and I said to him, you better up your motherfucking game, motherfucker. Because Crazy Joe is here now. After a long, long delay in my personal life and in my technical life. And I am back and I'm coming back with a vengeance to destroy all you assholes because I don't have to do it. All I got to do is do my show. Just like I did for my anonymous donor. I wasn't even doing a show. I was just doing a test run and they loved it. But wait till they hear the show on Wednesday. Wait till you hear the show on Wednesday, 7 to 9 on the crazyjoeshow.com. You know how to get there. I don't have to fucking tell you how to get there. And if you know how to get there, you could talk to your fucking boyfriends that you suck their fucking dick and ask them, hey, how do I get to Joe's fucking um, feed? You're all done. I don't have to do anything. I am going to do one of the greatest internet shows of all time, even on my first show back. And I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to, I'm going to chip away at you. Your fans are going to realize what a bunch of fucking scumbag retards you really are. If they got a fucking brain. If not, and they're retarded as much as you're retarded, they're going to stay with you. Okay? Because misery likes company. But even without your fans, I'm going to have my own fans. And I got one right now that really helped out the Crazy Joe show. And it's very emotional for me to talk about. Because I really appreciate what this person did. More than you know. But you scumbags, you tried to destroy me. You tried to deplatform me. You tried to do this, you tried to do that, blah, blah, blah. And it's all going to backfire. Because my performance on Wednesday is going to be amazing. My show is amazing. And I don't have to do nothing but be me. You guys... You can't be yourselves because you're a bunch of fucking retards and you're a bunch of losers. And even if you are yourselves, you still suck because you got no talent. You ain't got what Crazy Joe has. But most importantly, you're not from New York City where I'm from. I'm the original New York City. I'm not a gentrifier. I'm not a yuppie puppy hipster dipster fucking G generation millennial. Ge- I'm not a fucking loser like you fucking bunch of jerk orbs are, Okay. Your fucking generation sucks dick for fucking milk money. You have no talent. You suck. You're boring. And you're weaky weakies. You're a bunch of pussies. You better appreciate this guy. I ain't going to be around forever. But the time I do have on this war- on this earth, I'm going to rock your motherfucking world. And I'm going to embarrass you motherfuckers. And I'm going to put you motherfuckers in your place, which I've already done through my... Amazing videos. Now this is the real game on. And you're going to be destroyed. I'm taking your fans. And even if I don't. I'm still going to destroy you. Because you're going to fucking see. Who's got the real talent. And who sucks dick for milk money. And who's the fucking asshole riding the unicycle. With no seat down the bumpy road of life. Like you fucking G-generation millennial assholes do. You are done.